Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this comes from a guy named Tony. I'm pretty sure it's Tony. Yep, Tony. And he's a guy I chatted with on Facebook. So as you guys know, I actually got another one of these FSDs. I got one in 20 CV, number 22. And I was pretty excited to get that one. Um, uh, but I don't need two of this, you know, it's a really cool knife. I love it, but I really love this one. So it seems silly to have two and, uh, they're very popular right now, hard to get, and they're worth a lot, right? Like some of these are going for like $1,200 on the secondary. So, uh, I went on Facebook and threw it up for trade and I was kind of looking to get a Roosevelt, right? Um, uh, but... I actually found one. I had a good buddy who actually won his third lottery and he didn't need three. So uh, he actually sold me one. So now I have my original Roosevelt number 158 and I have a new one number 555. This one's in Magna Cut. It's got this awesome Zerku tie clip and backspacer really good action so i could not be more excited but i traded tony for something else so let's take a look i'm gonna use the fsd here to unbox it because why not figure out how this box works I, I didn't have the time to throw tape on and everything so um hang on here while I try not to cut myself. All right. Let's see if I got it. Oh, all right. Oh. So, what do we have here? Grimsmo, huh? Yep. <laughs> I got one for myself, guys. This is the Grimsmo Knives Rask. And you guys know I had one in on review from Sean. Shout out to you, Sean. Um, it's got some coloring here, but that's just on the Anno. This is a blue frame. And then it has purple screws down here and standoffs. But then a normal colored pivot. And it has the acid washed blade, which is really cool. Um, so let's... Give it a flick. Ow, oh, it's a really acid wash blade. Look at that thing. And I was just handling my buddy Joe's. Um, and his is kind of like this, but when it, when it drops, it just like whoosh, guillotine drops. It's insane. I don't know if he's used it more, if the pivot's looser or what, but... Man, this feels really, really good. All right, so. Sorry, I got cut off there. Um, seems like something's up with this. Um, it's not dropping shut. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it just seems very sort of gritty. Not gritty, really, but just doesn't, I don't know. Doesn't seem right to me. Um, so I'm going to take it apart. I'm assuming it's real because this is all very, you know, Grimsmo-esque. Luckily, they include everything you need, so hopefully I don't even need to grab my tools. Yeah, see, this is really tight. I don't know if maybe it was just tight, but at this point, I'm here. I'm just going to take it apart. I figure that way you guys can see the inside, too. I don't know if everybody's seen the inside. Is it Loctite? It's hard to tell. Uh, I'm going to need to... I believe it's T9 all the way around on these. Wow, you hear that pop? 
hopefully that wasn't a broken screw. <laughs> Just very good machining is what I hope. Okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> Jesus. So it could just be dry. It could be a million things. So I'm going to try to not be worried yet. Here's the bearings. They're really small bearings, but, I mean, all the rasks I've handled are pretty damn good. So let's just clean everything. And hope that's it. I'm guessing this is new and maybe he didn't, you know, take it apart or anything. I'm hoping, I, I would hope that the acid washed ones have better action because they're probably polished after. See, everything's polished after. Which means it should honestly drop more, but we'll see. I don't know what that notch is in the blade. Very interesting. It could just be weight relief. Could be a lot of things, I guess. We can look at the frame here and see. So it is a standard detent. Uh, no, it's not. It is it's sort of a nub situation. You see that? interesting it says aebl that's what this is made out of because the blade is made out of rwl october 2021 proudly made in canada rask this is definitely real and i wasn't actually considering it to not be but it's tight 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 okay so looks like we cleaned everything other than the bearings i didn't know they used this sort of nubby thing i thought they used a ball interesting so it is basically a nub a nub and then you have this sort of thing right there i don't know what that is and i don't know if you can adjust it at all but that's cool. And then I'm guessing that nub kind of falls into that. I don't know. I'm going to get something in there. You also have here Rask 619 RWL 34. Over here you have the pivot. And you have, looks like different locations for the stop pins. Hold on. I'm trying to get alcohol on everything. You see here you have this slot. I don't know if you could take that out. No, you can't. Okay. Oh, it's for this. So you have that. So I don't know if you could put this over here. Nope. So I don't know why they do it this way. Maybe there's one other pin I'm missing somewhere. Or that's if they want to make an adjustment, they can use that. I have no idea. I am not the expert. There's something in there. It looks like Loctite. So let me zoom back out blow something in here Let's see if I can get that out oh shot a screw across the room yeah there's something in there use my handy dandy KPL sticks Just like a piece of. Loctite or something. Now hopefully it's not an issue. Let me see if I can just. Ice. Let me isolate it. Put some alcohol in there. And then what I usually do, blow it out. Let 
I think it's still in there too. Take the cloth. Try to get it in there with the bit. All right, well, that's the best I'm gonna do. I don't wanna damage anything. So here you'll see there's a little notch to lock in the show side or whatever, the pivot, sorry. Guess it's supposed to look like that, right? Yep, can't move. And then we have the bearings we wanna clean up too. Get some more alcohol here. Yeah, and they do make their own cages. I don't think they make the bearings necessarily, like the balls. Pretty sure they buy those, but I could be wrong. And they look to be, once I get this cleaned up, we can take a look. They're not white ceramic and they're not black. I don't know what they are. They do feel rather hard to move around, but I'm hoping that's just because of the size. So... Now we can get out our nano oil. Comes with the knife, which is really cool that it comes with nano oil. Comes with 10 weight. Whoa, Jesus. I don't know where this was. Was it on there? Or was it down here? I think it was like this, right? I don't know. This is my, of course, my new method of getting lube on things. I think it was really dry, too. They probably send it dry, honestly. Which... Honestly, you could just run it dry because it's plastic cage bearings and ceramic balls. And so I'm sure that's why. But why would they give you nano oil then? <laughs> so I don't know. Um, that is odd, I guess. So let's see. I don't think the bearings go a certain way. And maybe we just put a little bit like that on there. And let's see what happens. Actually, let's do this first. Just in case all goes well, which I'm hoping it does. I'm gonna use KPL Knife Shield. Um, hopefully I don't have to take this apart again anytime soon. And that will hopefully help with any rust issues or whatever. It's also excellent cleaning off, um, tape gunk and stuff. And I meant to clean that little hole out too, didn't I? Just wanna see if there's anything in there. Not really. All right. So this stop pin probably would be easier to just, it could be the lock up pin, I don't know. Basically they're both stop pins though, right? A little pressure down. These are the same. I'm just going to use that one first. 
Get our little flag driver out. Just tightening that down a little bit so I can get the pivot screw. And I am gonna use Loctite. Ugh. Just cause that's the kind of guy I am. You can get this Loctite at orionknives.com. Highly recommend this giant tube of it. It's very inexpensive for that. Oh, I didn't clean this off, I guess. Oh shit, okay. A little alcohol. Get the bit in there. Take the driver. I do like these drivers because they have a coating on the bit and everything so you it makes it harder to scratch stuff which is good obviously especially for people like me nope that's mostly bubbles and shit i want actual loctite Guessing I'm not going to need a lot for this knife, so I'm not going to go crazy, and I did not want to do that. Okay, centering looks good. Ah, okay. So, no play. And that is with the pivot. Oops. Pretty tightened down. See, this is kind of how it was. So I'm guessing the pivot was just a little tight. No play. So yeah, so it's just going to be a matter of what you want, right? I like to have it as tight as I can without... Making the action worse. See how it's already slowing down a little bit there? It's probably where I would put it. Let me just back off the touch. No play in any direction. Yep, that's perfect. And we are dead centered. Yep. Everything looks good. Let's make sure these are tight all around. Boom. We are good, guys. So that is Rask number 619 in RWL 34, which is now mine. Would I have picked this exact one had I the choice? I don't know, but I do like blue, and I do like purple, actually. Um, and I'm starting to like acid wash blades, so maybe. And I feel like loosening it, cleaning it, made the detent feel a little bit more snappy. Earlier, I was able to fail it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I could do that now. So I think it just needed a little love. It probably was mostly sitting in a case for you know, uh, six months or so, and I'm going to give it some love, 
I'm going to take it out, put it in my pocket and do things to it. So that's it, guys. Uh, I am really starting to dial this collection in a bit. Um, I had a lot of production knives. I had, um, I still do have a lot, but not as many. And I'm starting to dial in my preferences a little bit, I think. And I've sold a lot of knives to get um, better knives, so to speak. I don't know what to do with this damn clip. Does it go on the cap? Yeah, it does. Okay, it goes on the cap. Slide down. There we go. Probably sits like that. I don't know. Put that away. Put the flag away. I love that. It came with everything I needed, guys. And then, of course, I'm going to recommend the knife shield for you. Uh, I'm going to shut this, and this is going to go down in my box of boxes. I don't know if I'll keep... I might as well keep all this, too, right? Because it kind of came with it. Wrapped in it. There. I will put that down. But yeah, my, my collection's getting dialed in, guys. So I got the Rask here um, on this level, so to speak. I'd say we got the Rask. We got the Brown Knives Cortex version 2, right? Um, which I've compared to the Rask before. We got the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. Uh, this is number 158, I think, or 156. I actually just got number 555 five, five from a friend so i have another rosie now absolutely fantastic i have my custom lefty tough knives reset sheep's foot just got that back from him that's absolutely fantastic i have my gavco custom nurse absolutely fantastic knife just really really love that um of course i have my brown knives fsd recently got this and love it so i mean i'm really starting to dial in what i like of course i still have fantastic production knives like the mini tempest from sharp by design i actually have two of these right now i may try to move this one at some point but i don't know we'll see how it breaks in and then, of course, there's the Nimble from EMP EDC. So there are production knives that still catch my eye. Also on that list would be the Trevor Burger Custom Urban. Just absolutely a beaut of a knife. There's some knives I don't have here right now, like my Evo and my Kvist variant. But my point is, I'm kind of trimming it down and kind of narrowing in on the stuff I really, really, really like, as opposed to having a whole bunch of knives that are just like good production knives. Nothing wrong with them, but good production knives. I'd rather have fantastic sort of customs, you know? Um, I also just got this in to review the Nimble Tanto. This is going to be a huge hit, guys. I can already tell you I love it. I uh, cannot wait to order at least one of these, maybe two, um truly truly am falling in love with the tanto really really fast um so yeah guys i love you i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day um i'm digging this rask i'm glad i took it apart because i was a little bit bummed there at first and we'll see how she you know how she does as i carry it and stuff but got it locked tighting and i've got it dialed in where i want it and i do like this colorway i like the little purple down there i think that's pretty cool honestly would i prefer if that was purple too i don't know or if it was all gray hardware maybe i can always get it modded or something but um, it's kind of hard with these type knives like this and the trevor burger and this and the roosevelt's like you know, I was thinking about getting this modded, like maybe sending it to knife modders to do a bark pattern on the heart, on the uh, scales, because I really love the golf putter, but he's not doing that. And he's not offering it on knives he's made for Lotto. Um, he's not going to offer that up because he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want other people to be upset about it or, you know, I don't know. So he's not doing that. But I kind of do like these gray scales. So 
I don't know. I might just leave it as well. Um, kind of a risky mod on a knife that's already really, really good. So um, anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.